humans, I'm Yo Schiller. Welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Folks, today is going to be another one of those days where I split the day into two. I don't want to make a habit of this, but this is not the first time I've done this. It is going to be a day where I record for 20 minutes or so here at the beginning of the day, and then I record for 30, 40 minutes at a different time of the day. Now, why am I doing this? Two reasons. One, I knew that I definitely wanted to play at the beginning of the day because... I want to go ahead and buy turnips. It is Sunday morning. Daisy May visits every person's island every Sunday morning. And I really, really want to buy turnips because that is my way of maximizing my profits and getting a fair share of bells so that I can pay off my basement debt. So that I can try and buy a couple more bridges for my island. And so that if I need to buy any additional items for my island, I can just do so. I appreciate the fact that I haven't just been swimming in money throughout this series. But I am kinda almost out of money and I wouldn't mind investing the rest of them into turnips considering the fact that I can always utilize social media to try and find an island that would get me better turnips. Anyway, I'm getting turnips now because Daisy May disappears at noon. So I'm playing this game before noon, then after I go to Daisy May, I buy the maximum amount of turnips that I can buy. I will take a break, work on some other stuff, do a bit of the stuff that I have to do today, and then I will come back record the second half of this video, edit it all together so it seems like one seamless video, and then I'll go on with the rest of my day as planned as if it was one big recording. So to you guys, it just still looked like one regular video. To me, I'm basically putting two smaller videos into the length of one average Animal Crossing New Horizons video. But I don't want to make a habit of this, because the point of this series is to see how much stuff I can get done in an hour each day. And I want to immediately go to Daisy May and buy what I can, but I also acknowledge that because I'm recording this as two separate videos at two separate times, I can utilize that fact to get a few different things done. First things first, there's a money tree here. I could plant these bells and try and grow another money tree, but it's just going to get chopped down in a couple days anyway. And since I'm more desperate for bells right now than I am for plant life, I'm going to go ahead and hang on to these bells and use them to buy turnips later. Second, this mask that I've been wearing has been funny and all, but... I think it's time I finally get dressed into a different outfit. So let me do that real quickly because this is going to pretty much determine what I wear for the rest of the video unless one of my villagers gives me a different outfit. So mask is off. Let's put on Bailey, one of my Bailey hoodies. And then let's put my glasses back on. Which glasses do I want to wear? I guess just rimmed glasses is fine. So I guess I've got mainly a green aesthetic going on, which is usually what I have going on. So I need to put on... Some bottoms. I could put on the athletic pants, but let's, let's get a little blue in there. So we've got football pants, got the blue, and I guess I can stack that with a blue bag, right? Or let me do the shoes first. Not slippers. Mm, this is kind of like bright blue, but I, I'm kind of digging it. Anything else? No? Okay. Then we'll put a blue bag with it. And we'll do, then we'll do the backpack face. There we go. Green and blue. A nice color palette. It's nice, bright, it's vibrant. Captures me pretty well. The shoes are the things that feel a little off just because they're so bright. Can't really put bright socks with it. This'll do. This'll do. Alright. And no, one of my Nook Miles opportunities was to not access my wardrobe for a fresh look. I just wanted to get dressed. Okay, so I've got a thousand extra bells to spend on turnips. I can pick up some shells now. So that when I come back to play this game in a couple of hours, hopefully some different shells will have spawned on my island. Ideally, some blue summer shells may have spawned on my island. So... That's one thing I can do by playing this game at two different intervals during the day. I mean, most people can get a lot of stuff done if they play the game at different intervals during the day, but I usually play this game for an hour straight. So it could be for a decent video if I play this game at two different hours, so I can showcase some of the things that can happen. A change of time in the day. And then I'm going to go ahead and look for the money rock while I'm at it, so that I can have a few extra bells to spend on turnips. Now, this one is not the money rock, but I will still bonk it to the maximum number of times. That's five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let me find the money rock first. The more bells I have to spend on turnips, the more of a profit I'll get later. Here we go. I acknowledge I could do other things, like I, I could stock up on supplies and sell a bunch of stuff, but this day isn't supposed to revolve around the turnips necessarily. I mean, this morning part is, but I mean, I still got to do some other stuff. See, I still got a texture this area over here. I might destroy this rock later. It's not the money rock, so I might really destroy it later. But for now. Ink. Ink. Okay. Very good. Still got to look for the money rock, though. Don't know quite where it is. I destroyed a rock yesterday so that I can move Charlize's house. By the way, Charlize's house has moved. So this area over here is now a bigger open space that will be textured. 
later on in the video. But on that note, let's head over in the general direction of Charlize's house, or at least where it's moved to now, so that I can try and bonk a few extra rocks and hope that one will be the money rock. Also, there is a fossil right here. I won't get it assessed this second, but I'll get it assessed later. Potentially sell it for a few extra bells. No! My shovel! Well, you see that house in the background right there? The one to the left? That's Charlize's new location. Seems kind of nice that you can see it at the end of the waterfall path. But, ah, I gotta go buy a new shovel. I guess I'd rather have that happen now rather than after bonking a rock twice. Also, there's a balloon overhead with a yellow balloon. Now, previously, I thought the presents that were carried by the yellow balloons always contained bells, but that turned out to not be true. I learned that the colors don't actually mean anything because you guys left comments. Bicycle helmet! This is not my first time getting a bicycle helmet, let alone one in this color. And for as humorous as the bicycle helmet is to my channel historically, I'm actually going to take it off, and I'm actually going to sell it. Whoa! It's been a long time since I haven't had anything on my head, huh? I've just been used to wearing a Yoshi hat or a beanie or something for so long that actually not wearing anything is weird. Alright, Bladders, you can go ahead and assess this. So, yeah, I already have bicycle helmets, plural. I have multiple bicycle helmets in my inventory back in my house. So I think I'll just go ahead and sell this one for a few extra bells. Oh, I thought I had multiple fossils, just the one. This fine. Blathers, please tell me whether or not you'd like to add this to your collection. Triceratops, I feel like you already have that. You do already have that, so I will sell that for a few extra bells. And then when I finally locate Daisy May, I will buy some more turnips from her. And it will be great! Okay. So, in that case, I guess I'll pick up one or two more shells, and then I'll stop by the shop and finally sell some stuff. Because I saw this shell in the background when I was entering Blathers' museum. So there's that. And then, oh, there's a fly over here. Well, a fly is probably only worth 100 bells or so, but 100 bells! You can buy some more turnips with that. Come here. There we go! Thank you! Okay, all set. Alright, well... I guess it's just that time to enter Nook's Cranny and sell a bunch of stuff. So let's see what I can do. Let's see how many bells I can get, and let's see what you're selling. You're selling the open sign, which is humorous, but I'm not gonna buy that. I have friends that have that, so if I really want it, I could get it in my inventory for a second and order it from the Nook shopping thing. But for now, here you go, Triceratail and the mosquito and the bicycle helmet and the clams and the fly and the sea snail and the calories and the the clumps. I guess I'll hang on to everything else. My inventory is full up. One day I'll finally actually use everything that I have in my inventory, but for now, you can have that. Puts me very close to 60,000 bells, but not quite there, but that's okay. That should still be a sufficient amount of bells to be able to buy a sufficient amount of turnips. So, I will take it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so. Let's keep it moving. Uh, I did not find the money rock yet. And I also did not find all the shells that have washed up to my island just yet. Oh no, Tybalt. Mm. Alright, I'll talk to you right now, Tybalt. Tybalt, what's wrong? Don't tell me anything about moving. You are thinking about moving! No, 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 you gotta stay, man, I like you! I said it before, the only person that'd be... I'd be okay with leaving is Leopold. <laughs> Tybalt, you can stick around, you've been a nice... You've been a nice guy to me. As far as I'm concerned, you're, you've been nice to the other villagers here, too. So stick around, enjoy! Alright. Let me see what else is around here. Bertha's using the dining area, I can really appreciate that. Okay... Okay, <gasps> Daisy Mae's up there! I see her! Daisy May, hang on, I'm coming! I'm coming, Daisy May! I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Daisy May, wait! I got so many bells for you. Good morning, you here to start your Sunday off with some fresh turnips? I got turnips aplenty. 94 bells each? Yeah, I'll buy some. That means even if my highest price is only 111 bells again, which it was on day 91, I'd get a, I'd get a pretty decent profit. Although I want to sell them for 200 bells or more. We'll see how that turns out. 630 turnips, yes please. All right. Now, if I can, I'd like to try and find the money rock real quickly, get a few extra bells, and then come back here. For now, it's been a pleasure doing business with you, Daisy May. So, I could end this section of the video here, but it's only been nine minutes. And I, I feel weird that this video is going to be split into two chunks. And the first chunk is only nine minutes, and the latter half is 51 minutes. So instead, let me, let me finish up finding that money rock. That wheel is still spinning. SPINNING! There's a couple more clams I can sell for a few extra bells. Very good. Okay. Let me see. So... 
I don't know where this new rock could have spawned. And I'm fairly certain I picked up all the shells off of the beach. So the only other place that this rock could have spawned is toward the back of my island. So let me do one more quick search along the beach, make sure that I picked up every single shell that could have spawned here besides vanilla clams. Also, I saw that balloon in the background and I will take care of it in just a moment. Yeah, okay. Let me get this balloon. Let me get this balloon. Okay, just don't fall in the water, please. And then, man, I do kind of wish the balloon colors meant something. Well, that's okay. And I know I have mail. I'll, I'll check that a little later. Okay. Come on. Come on, work with me here. I don't want it to fall in the water, please. Please. Okay, good, good, good. It's blowing south a little bit from the looks of it. Come on now. Come on now. Just come on to the land. And man, I still gotta adjust to the fact that I'm not wearing any sort of headgear in this video. <laughs> and nope. There we go. Very good. Alright, what's in here? What did I get? It is... Ski goggles. Well, I guess that's kind of fun. Let's see all those... <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, ski goggles. Pretty fun. I think I am gonna sell them. And just put my regular glasses back on afterward. And because I've had them in my inventory once, if I need to get ski goggles again... I can just buy them from Nook Shopping. Perhaps a relative waste of time and money, but I don't foresee myself wearing these ski goggles in the immediate future. Maybe I'd wear them in the winter time, but I don't need them right now. Thank you, though. All right, Timmy, Tommy, I've got a few extra things. It ain't much, but it's something. All right, so I've got ski goggles. Well, hang on. I got ski goggles, I got the sand dollars, and... Six extra pieces of clay. Yeah, okay. I have a hard time letting the stuff go because I eventually want to craft everything in the game. And I spent all this time picking up these resources and I've destroyed a lot of the resources on my island. So it'd be hard to get more stuff. Also, I never bought another shovel, did I? And I don't even, I don't even have enough bells for another shovel. So I'll buy a flimsy shovel. And then using a crafting workbench and whatever resources I need and have, I will craft a better shovel. <sighs> I wanted to spend all my bells on turnips today, but sometimes you just break your shovel and you gotta buy a new one. Okay, I almost forgot to buy a shovel too. That would have been embarrassing if I tried looking for the money rock and I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I never got another shovel. And that's a mistake I made in these videos plenty of times in the past where I needed a specific tool and I told myself I'd go buy another version of the tool and I just never did. But here we go. One iron nugget should be good. Makes me thankful that I've hung on to so many iron nuggets, although I only have 17 left, but that should still be a sufficient amount. I've been saying the word sufficient a lot throughout this video. I like thinking that saying the word sufficient makes me sound a bit more sophisticated, but it is still a relatively common word with a pretty straightforward definition, and therefore constantly saying the word sufficient probably doesn't make me sound any smarter. But it was just the most applicable word during most of those instances. In any case, I need to find the money rock. That's the important thing. And here we go. I bonked these rocks the other day, but I never picked up all the resources because my pockets were full. And because I was probably in a rush, that too. But hopefully one of these rocks over here is the money rock, and hopefully it's just this one so I can get my bells, buy my turnips, and then proceed to do my daily activities and get prepared to film the second part of this video later. Okay. In, a, in any case, pick up a tree branch or so. All right. Pick up another tree branch. All right, shake the tree for bad luck. Yep. Works out that way. Don't worry though, wasps. I'm ready to catch you. Boom! That's what I'm talking about! Sell you for a few extra bells. Use those extra bells to get a few extra turnips. Use those extra turnips to get a few extra profit bells. It's great. Thank you. Alright, so then I'll pick that up. Alright. And that one had money. All this extra money. It's gonna be helpful. Alright, let's actually bonk some rocks though, huh? So, dig a hole here. Dig a hole here. And let's bonk that rock. Here we go. Nice! Already starting off with a gold nugget. I'll take that. I mean, the rest of the resources I already have plenty of, but the gold nugget? I'll take those. Some, some things can only be crafted with a gold nugget. So the more of those I have, the better. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, cover up those holes. Now, the problem was, that wasn't the money rock. So is this one the money rock? Oh boy, I hope so. Okay, dig a hole there. Dig a hole there, and it's not the money rock! The quest will still continue after this! There we go. Okay, but I must still find the money rock. 
That's the whole point of me doing this right now. It's the whole reason this first section of the video hasn't ended yet. So let me find that money rock. And then I will be on my way. Okay, there's, there's more fossils that can be dug up here that I could potentially sell for additional bells, but money rock. That's what I need right now. I'll dig up the fossils, that's fine. There's another fossil right here. All right, thank you. All right, now the only other rock I know of that exists on my island is like around here somewhere, and I visit it so frequently that I don't exactly know its exact spot. Also, there's another another fossil right here. Look, I'm not complaining about there being fossils. I'm just, I'm a little surprised. I'm complaining about the fact that I haven't got my money rock yet, and me finding the money rock is the main thing preventing me from ending this chunk of the video, and I can't get that fossil just yet, so I'll have to dig it up later. I'm probably gonna forget about it, but I'll be back here in due time and I'll dig it up at that point. Okay? Watch me forget about it, guys. Watch me forget about it, I'm calling it. Okay. So yeah, there's a rock over here. This is the only other rock I know of, so if it's not the money rock, I don't quite know what I'll do. I'm glad that tree had bells in it. That's good. Alright, please. Please be the money rock. Alright, so dig a hole. Dig a hole. And here we go. It is not the money rock! Shoot, man! So that means whatever rock is the money rock today is the most newly spawned rock on my island because I broke a rock yesterday and I don't know where it spawned. I know it didn't spawn near the front of the island because rocks don't spawn on rock they spawned. They don't spawn on custom tiles. And most of the fronts of my island are are gray custom tiles. So wherever this new rock is, it has to be back here somewhere. I just don't know its exact location. Daisy May, hang hang in there for a few more minutes, okay? I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay. Climb down here, I guess. There's some grassy parts over here. Not much, but there's something. If I could put more grassy parts down here, I probably would. Okay, I picked up something. I think I picked up a tree branch. Okay, good. I'll visit those trees later. There's a DIY bottle here. I don't have anything super major that I want to get rid of permanently, so please, DIY bottle, contain a new recipe that I do not know yet. Doggone it! Alright, fine. I'm gonna leave this DIY recipe here for now and I'll come back for it later. Watch me forget about that DIY recipe too. Alright, I'll pick it up later. I just What I need right now is extra inventory slots. Also, a blue summer shell? Ugh. Fine, I'll drop something else over here. I, I'll drop the... Mm. Okay, let me put that on. There, now I should... No, I don't! Frick! I thought this would give me an extra inventory slot because I put on an extra outfit, but it... It, it counts as a shirt and pants. Doggone it. Fine, I'll drop the... I'm thinking... I guess I'll drop the... The, the tree branches? I don't want to leave turnips over here. There. Okay, blue summer shell, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, there's no money rock over here. So, I don't... I don't know where else this rock could spawn. Maybe there's one obvious place toward the back of the island that I haven't checked yet. But I just want a few extra bells so I can give the bells to Daisy May and buy turnips. Right? Like, there isn't a rock up here that I forgot to bonk? I got them, right? Okay, whatever. I guess I'll just sell a few extra things while I'm heading by next cranny anyway. I probably should have gotten those fossils assessed first. Doesn't, doesn't really matter. I'll get a few extra bells. Just from selling stuff regardless. Okay, I want to sell. Okay, here we go. So, the wasp. The wasp nest. And maybe that was it. I thought I had like another shell or something. Darn it! Frick, man! Okay, well, whatever. The the five extra pieces of clay, I guess? I, uh, stones? Getting plenty of stones whenever I bonk these rocks. Okay, 3,000 additional bells, great. That puts me past 4,000 bells total. I can blah. <laughs> I can't. I can't speak, but I can buy plenty of turnips with that amount of bells. So maybe I should. No, no, no. Let me do one more quick tour around the back of my island. See if I can find this rock. Maybe it's in the flower garden. I didn't really do a thorough inspection of my flower garden. I just kind of went along the beach to look for shells. But a rock has spawned over here before, so it could spawn here again. It does not appear to be here, though. Okay, I mean, I'm kind of 
I'm both relieved and upset that it's not here, because if it was here, then my search for this money rock would be over. But I am a little relieved because it doesn't mess up the growth of my flowers, but I will have to clean up that flower garden later, so forgive me. Forgive me, that flower garden is messy right now. Alright, I bonked these rocks already. Well, okay, I guess I didn't check up here. Please tell me the rock is up here, or that there is a rock up here. There is a rock up here, and I get the feeling this one's gonna be the money rock, because I definitely didn't slam this one yet. So please be the money rock. If there's another freaking rock on this island they don't know about, I'm gonna be a little upset. It's the money rock, hooray! I guess that makes sense. It's the newest rock on my island. It just spawned here today. I know it wasn't here the other day. There we go, hit it the maximum number of times. Nice! Now I've got plenty of bells to spend on turnips. There we go. This will put me past 15,000. Nice. Nice. 20,000 bells! Rather, 20,000 additional bells to spend on turnips. So if Daisy May is still standing over here, I will go give her these these bells now. And hey, what do you know? I did not forget about this fossil. I mean, I did temporarily, but I remember that I dug it back in here. There we go. I'll take that fossil. We'll get it assessed later. I could get it assessed now and bank on the fact that Blathers doesn't want it and then I'll just sell it, but I do want to end this first half of the video, so I'll be fine. I think 20,000 additional bells for buying, for buying turnips at 94 bells a pop is going to be fine. So, buy the max. I'm going to be mostly out of money, but when I sell those fossils later, I'll at least have a decent amount of change to buy any additional tools or something that I'll need. I just really got to make sure I sell these turnips for a profit later on in this week. Alright, thank you, Daisy May. Whew! Glad I was able to do that. That is the benefit of playing this game during Sunday morning. Alright, I've got full inventory. I'm going to take a few hours break. I will be back to record the second half of this video in a bit. And when I do, I will drop off my turnips at my house, I will clean up my inventory, and I will do some other tasks throughout the day, like texturing my island. For now, that ends the first part. Whoosh! Alright, well it's five hours later, let's see if Daisy May is still here. She's still here! You're supposed to be gone! It's past noon! But I get it. I know that the second I leave this screen, you'll be gone. Daisy May, it has been a pleasure. Thank you. But for now, I must go. I must accept the fact that it shall soon be time for you to leave, and it's been a pleasure to see you when the sun is this far down on my island and the lighting is this different. Well, I got my turnips! That's the important thing, I got lots of those. So let me drop those off in my house, and then I guess I shall get back to work just moving stuff around on my island because we've got about 20 minutes left. So, also because it's a different hour, that should mean that more shells will spawn on my island and whatnot too, right? And then we have a new notification on the message board. Let's see. Upcoming bug off. Ooh. Is everyone excited for the big bug off? Mark Saturday, June 27th. Hmm. Roughly a week away. Okay. Well, I guess so. six days from now I will do the bug off. Hang on, wait. Today is day 94. Day 100 will be the great bug off? Ooh, okay. Well, I guess it's somewhat celebratory. All right. I, to be fair, I didn't really have anything major planned for day 100 of the series anyway. It was just going to be another day, and the big joke would have been that, Oh, it's day 100, and I don't really have anything major planned, but, you know, take what I can get. If there's a bug off, there's a bug off. Okay. For now, I need to put turnips in my office. That's where they'll go, is my office. You don't want to put them in the, in the main room of the house. You want to put them in the office. Something slightly off to the side. There. All these people cheering? You can cheer on all these turnips. Alright, drop. Drop. That goes into storage. And these go into storage. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Now drop. And drop. And drop. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Put in storage. Alright. And drop. And drop. There's no more room, you say. Oh, I'll show you more rooms. Drop. And drop. And drop. There you go. Plenty of room now. What do you say about that, huh? And this colorful fishing rod, that should go over here. This should move over here. And there. Now my stuff is somewhat better organized. Hooray! And then I have three fossils that should be assessed. So I'll go do that now. Let's assess some fossils. And then I'll put on my old construction hat by opening up the Island Designer app. And I'll finish texturing some parts of my island or something. And we'll try and get a bridge installed. And then hopefully within the next few days... I'll find someone with reasonable turnip prices, or I'll have reasonable turnip prices. I'll get some bells, I'll pay off the bridge. Hold on a sec, okay. Something from the Happy Home Academy, rank B. I feel like I was rank A earlier. Accenting your rooms with items from the same set of furniture can really make it- Oh my goodness, okay, fine. 
And then Charlie's. I was all psyched up to send you a letter, so I grabbed a pen and some paper, sat down, and right away forgot what I was going to write you about. I'll write again if I remember, so hang tight till then, okay? It'll come to me, Charlize. Don't worry, Charlize, I'll come to you and see if you enjoy the position of your new house. I'll speak to you in a moment. But first, I must assess some fossils. Actually, let me see if there are any shells on the beach. Shells on the beach. Shells on the beach. There are no shells on this beach. What the hey, game? I went inside a new loading zone. I was ready for more shells. Fine. Fine. We'll just get the fossils assessed then. Get the fossils assessed, and then we'll move on with my day. Alright? Alright. So, let's get these fossils assessed. Very good, very good, very good. Alrighty. Okay. There we go. Hello, blathers! Alright. Assess fossils. Very good. Do you like seeing me without my hat, blathers, or do you prefer seeing me with the hat on? Honest question. What about a hat? It doesn't have to be my Yoshi hat, just a hat. All right, you already have all those fossils. Whatever. It's all good. Thank you, Blathers. No, I'm content. Okay. Let's get the heck out of here. You know, I do admit that by not wearing any sort of hat whatsoever, there is sort of a sense of professionalism with this outfit because it looks like my hair is sleek to the side and I'm wearing a pilot's uniform. But it just doesn't feel quite like me. I would wear some sort of hat. And I imagine I could wear a pilot's hat too. But no, no, no. I gotta wear a Yoshi hat or something in order for this to feel more like me. Alright, so. I want to sell the fossils. I will do that. So that, that, and that. Thank you. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now let me go to resident services immediately. And see, well, first let me get my daily look, look, my daily nook miles from the machine. There we go, I can speak. And then I will get my, I'll see if I can get a bridge. See if I can get that bridge going. That way, as soon as I have the bells ready, I can just pay it off. Oh, Stokey. Here we go. We're gonna get it. It's gonna be great. Alright, so here we go. Nice. Alright, get my daily nook miles. Thank you. All right, we got it. 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 All right. Plank Nook, I'm ready to speak to you about a bridge. Why is his name Plank Nook? Because he's a man in charge. But to me, I consider him somewhat small in terms of the things that go on in my life. Because it's a play off of Plank Ton. But okay, let's talk infrastructure. Okay, let's chat. So I would like a bridge. Bridges and inclines, okay. Let's build a bridge. Alright. And then I'm probably just gonna go ahead and pick another stone bridge again. This was this is going over by my cafeteria type area. Uh, well, okay. The resident services building is surrounded with stone bridges. By the cafeteria area, would it make more sense to have an iron bridge? I have one other iron bridge on this island, and it's over by a waterfall where the residents are. So, what the, the, but the reason that's there is because it makes more sense to have that type of bridge in a residential area. So, does it make more sense, then, to have a stone bridge, because it's closer near the front of my island here. Yeah, we'll do a stone bridge, because I'm, I realize now that my whole lake area also has stone bridges. So, we'll stick with this. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and set it down. Thank you, Plank Nook. It's not my best nickname. But it's the nickname I'm going with. Alright. Actually, what are my Nook Miles opportunities for the day? Did I never check that? Give me one sec. Okay, take a picture. I'll do that. Speak to my neighbors. Alright. Hey, man. How you doing? Have you been using reactions? I'm going to teach you a real good one today. Oh, I'm excited. Alright, what you got for me? Has anyone said you don't have as many crumbs on you today, but you're too bashful to say thanks? No worries. Just do this. <laughs> That's quite an iconic reaction that I think a lot of my friends have used. And Blathers uses it, I think. So I'll take Bashful. See, you can tell I'm real flattered even though I haven't said anything. So now if you need to, just use Bashfulness and everyone will understand how you feel. Thank you, Stu. We'll gladly take that. <laughs> okay. And then Hamphrey, where did you go? I wanted to speak to you. It looked like you were going to have lunch. How did you go so far away so quickly? Here you are. Hamphrey, wait. Well, hey there. If it ain't my good pal, Yoshilla, nice to see you. I want to chat. Always good to see a friendly face. Hope life is treating you alright. Great. Well, now I'll get my Nook Miles for that, so thank you all for chatting with me. Okay, what are my other Nook Miles opportunities? 
catch bugs, take a picture, chop down a trio. I'll probably do that. Before I do, let me speak with Charlize real quickly and see if she has anything to say about the fact that her house has now moved. She probably won't. She'll just be like, oh, hey, yo, Schiller, what's up? With any luck, maybe she'll be crafting something. I don't know. Let's find out. Charlize, are you crafting anything now that your house has moved to a new location on my island? Because if you are crafting something, I would be much interested in having that DIY recipe. Okay, what's up, Charlize? Sup, yo, Schiller? Glad you swung by, Hippa. What's the latest? When was the last time you heard from Bikondro? He gave me a note. He gave me a, he sent me a letter on day 91 giving me a bunch of star fragments. Thank you again, Picanjo. I used to love surprising my friends and crashing on their couch for the weekend, Hoppa. Sometimes I get the feeling they just didn't love it as much as I did, though. Oh, well. Alright, well, I guess you didn't really have anything to say about your house moving. Hope you like your new view of the ocean, even though you don't have windows facing the ocean, but... Well, I guess, like, your, your left window kind of sees out here and can look at the ocean. So I hope you like your new view, then. All right, let's check the houses back here real quickly and see if anyone's crafting anything. I'll, I would like to learn a new DIY recipe, and if it's not new, then I guess I'll go set it in my new DIY recipe spot. There we go. It is you. How are you doing? Meowitch! You're not supposed to be the one saying meowitch. The one that's supposed to be saying meowitch is Bangle because she's a cat. You're a chicken. You're supposed to be saying click -a doo but fine. I used to make you say click -a doo Now I just have to go meowitch! What is it? You're watching me so intensely, it's a bit unnerving. What you doing? Well, you see, I am working on a pansy crown. It is a DIY crafting project, my dear. I don't know if I know that one or not. I don't know, but I'll take it. Okay. Please teach me. Okay, so I guess I don't know that one. Great. Finally, a new DIY, re do DIY recipe for me to learn. Alright, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll take this. I'll head back down. I'll set a spot for a bridge. And I'll be good to go! Alright! Making my island come along! And then this week I'll sell my turnips, and I'll get a lot of bells, and I'll pay off this bridge, and I'll finally pay off the basement that's in my house. Very good. And then should I try to catch this butterfly? Can I catch this butterfly? It's too far away. My net will just keep going into the waterfall. No! Alright, well, that butterfly has won. It has taken advantage of the fact that my net cannot reach it. Well played, butterfly! However, this butterfly has taken advantage of the fact that my my net will constantly smack against this bridge. Well played, butterfly. Well played. Unless, of course, I go to the other side and I catch the butterfly by going right here. Which I cannot do because a gnome is blocking my path. But I could just catch this butterfly instead. There you go. I'll take it. Thank you. And then I can now finally go back and get this butterfly. But this butterfly is taking advantage of the fact that my depth perception sucks. But I finally did catch it, which means not all of its tricks are going to work on me. And then there's this butterfly, who also got caught by me in a much quicker amount of time than the previous butterfly. There we go. Alright. So, I can sell fruit to get some more Nook Miles. Very good. Oh, uh, hey. There we go. Oh, I don't actually need to catch any more butterflies. I already got the Nook Miles for them. What am I doing just catching butterflies without a reward? No! No! That's just not right. But you know what it is? It's probably right time for. Let me chop down this tree, guys. It's time to remove this tree. It's been fun. I like this tree. Did I never buy another sharp axe? Did I seriously just never do that? I need to go buy another sharp axe, and if I'm going to do that, I'm going to sell another butterfly while I'm at it. There we go. Okay. Let's go sell another butterfly and buy another sharp axe. Right? I'm not carrying one. I got a shovel. Got no issues carrying this shovel. But I need a sharp axe. What the hey? Why are also no shells spawning on my island anymore? Come on, man. That was supposed to be one of the advantages of playing this game at different hours throughout the day. Was that... I'd have more opportunities to get blue summer shells so I can craft more stuff, but it's okay. It's okay. Timmy, Tommy, I'm gonna sell you some bugs. Okay, here you go. This, 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 this. I suppose that is it. There we go. Alright, another 1,000 bells. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. And now, I will take this sharp axe and i will be ready to chop down some trees so here we go sharp axe 
Okay, suddenly when I only have 10,000 bells remaining, 2,500 bells is kind of a lot. It's a quarter of what I have. All this to chop down a tree. But I'll get my use out of this axe as time goes on. I'm not super concerned about that. I will make use of this axe, chop down a few other trees, and do what I have to in order to progress on with the development of my island. And then I'll come back over here and texture some stuff. So, okay. Let's get the sharp axe out. Sharp axe. Right there. Get that out. Hold that. Ready? This tree is going, and I'm going to get Nook Miles for it. So there we go. Goodbye, tree. It has been a pleasure. Alright, so... I can get this out. I can do this. Thank you. Very good. Now, do I dare smash these rocks? Because I think it's time to do that, too. Well, we shall see where they spawn, I guess. I need to shake a tree that has fruit on it. I also need to pluck that weed clump. Okay. So the only trees on my island that still have fruit on them are like these ones back here. Also, that one had money. Thank you. Okay. These. I'll get these. Picked all these up. Now, I want to sell some fruit too for some bells and for some nook miles. So, let me climb up real quickly and shake one or two trees up here that also have fruit on them. If there's any, I think there's, I think there's one, one lonesome tree, or no, no guys, I think I chopped down all the fruit trees on my island, well fine, fine, I'll shake this tree, I'll shake this tree, there it is, let's go, let's go, alright, here we go, boom baby, that's what I'm talking about, okay, well fine then. I guess it's not time to smash both of the rocks that are over there. This is what happens when you chop down all your fruit trees. Oh, here we go. Time for round two. Time for round two. Hang on, guys. Got it. Round two completed. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll take that. I'll take that. All right. Shake this tree. Wait, how about the tree in the back? Or are we going to do round three with these wasps? Nope, that one had bells. Cool. I'll take what I can get right now. All right, well, I guess I don't have any more... I don't have any more fruit trees. There was this money tree the other day that I wanted to chop down, so I'll do that real quickly. Alright, here we go. Sorry about this tree. Here we go. And hut. Huh, hey. Very good. More and more wood. Okay. So now we take a shovel and then we do that. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. Yeah, no more fruit trees. They're all gone. They're all gone. Well, what do you say? I'm going to chop down one more tree. I'm going to chop down one more tree. And it is going to be this one. Eh. I'll chop down that other one over there, too. Give me one second. Okay. 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 All right, I'll chop this one down, too. Eh. Eh. I'm sorry, trees. I'm chopping these down now because I get the feeling I'm going to do development over here a little later. Okay, so I'm chopping them down while I'm already up here. Planning real far and ahead. So there, moving that and get rid of this stump. All right, getting that. Now, back to the part of the island I was originally planning to develop today, and that's all the way back over here. So, I need to get back down. I need to put down this bridge kit, and then I need to texture the rest of my island, or at least what I can of it. So here we go. Let's keep it going. Oh, hang on. There's this present here that I never opened from the other day. That's right. So what's in the present? Open. A box sofa. Hang on. Is this a green one? Because I have white and pink of these. I think this one's a different color. It is a green one. Ooh. I didn't know they came in green, but I'm so glad they do. I'm so glad I hit that out of a balloon the other day. Awesome stuff. Well, tell you what. Catch this real quickly. Nope, won't catch it real quickly. Fine. Fine. All right, what was I doing right? I need to go over here. So the, the bridge is basically just going to go right here. So let's get... Okay, hang on. Let's move this stump real quickly. Okay, move that stump. And then we're going to smash... This bottom most rock. Alright, so get ready. I'm gonna eat an orange. 
All right, and boop. Very good. All right, no, I'm mean, fine. I'll catch this bug real quickly too. All right, here we go. Come on. Get a few extra bells. I have to stop by the shop anyway. Hang on, someone's saying I don't know. Tybal, I already told you not to leave earlier. Lately, folks have been calling you Muffin, right? That's pretty cool. Hey, do you mind if I call you Muffin too? Grah. You can. You can. Just don't, don't say meowitch. <laughs> All right, you can call me Muffin. Hey, there's a balloon up here. Not in the most convenient of locations, I acknowledge. But since, but on that note, like, when are they, right? So if I go up here, am I too far up? I think I'm too far up. Yeah, I am, because it's down there. Okay. Well, let's see if I can cut it off when it reaches my dining area. Give me one moment. It's coming. It's coming. Tie ball. Tie ball. Do you see that balloon? It's going. It's going, Tybalt! Oh, you got yourself a popsicle. Where'd you get a popsicle? We don't have a popsicle stand on this island. Yet. Where'd you get that, though? Here, yeah, I'm gonna sit with you for a moment. While I... Sense the balloon behind me, because I guess I'm not looking at it. I'm looking at you, Tybalt, and your popsicle. Oh! Did I creep you out? Tybalt, wait. Wait, Tybalt. I, I wanna... I want to take a photo with you. How about that? With this balloon in the background, if I can get it. No, wait, Tybalt. Wait, I get Nook Miles if I take a photo. Here, how about if I take it here? Fine. Wait, the balloon's going up. The balloon's going up. Oh, that would have been a perfect shot. Well, the balloon is gone now. Fine. That won't be the thumbnail photo. I teased you guys with the potential of having that be the thumbnail photo, but it's not. It's not going to be. It will never be the thumbnail for this video. Okay, let me just get this. Great. Okay, there we go. Hey. There we go. Open that up. What do we got? Garbage bin? Great! I'm right at a place where another garbage bin could go. Let me hop on down. Thank you. So yeah, another garbage bin, right here. I'm game, I'm game for that. Here we go. Yeah, yeah! Okay, come on, come on, come on. And then we'll rotate it. Okay, and then can I scoot this to the right at all? Nope. All right, guys, another garbage bin. One for recyclables or something, one for actual food, great. Glad that that's there. All right, Tybalt, where'd you go? Don't you wanna be in today's thumbnail, Tybalt? Things are looking good. Bertha's in the thumbnail, Tybalt. Tybalt? Tybalt! Bertha, you're cool, but you've been in thumbnails before. I mean, I guess Tybalt has two in those big group ones, but... Tybalt, wait! Tybalt! Come on, man, I know you said you wanted to leave the island earlier, but you gotta work with me here. Some of this stuff can look really cool. You just let it. That might do. I have my eyes closed on that one. That could work. Bye, Tywalt. Okay, am I creeping you out? You're looking at the spinning wheel? Yeah, it's cool how it's spinning, right? Spinning! Spinning! Alright, well. There you go, Tybalt. I hope you enjoyed it. I got Nook Miles for taking a picture. So thank you for assisting me with that. Okay. Cool, I can get more Nook Miles if I catch a common butterfly. Well, we'll see what comes around, huh? Okay. So, Bertha, I'm about to I'm about to do some construction right here. Just a little bit today. Like 20 minutes worth, and then I gotta end the video. So get ready for this, Bertha. Here we go. So I need waterscaping permit. And the idea is that this will now be connected by bridge. So Stall, stall, stall. I should get more stalls so I can better line up where this will line up. So, in fact, although I have the construction helmet on right now, let me... Hang on, I think there's a common butterfly right there. Right, it's this... It's the common butterfly is the, the white one? Let me see. Yep, got it! Great, thank you. Oh, wait, no, 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 no! No, I'm not ready to put this away. No, 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 no! Alright, and I'll catch that butterfly too, just so I can... Hey! 
Just so I can sell it for a few for a few additional bells at the shop. All right, there we go. Nook Miles. Boom. Taking that. Thank you. Okay, chop wood. Well, I chopped trees earlier. Does that doesn't count? Okay, so let's get three stalls as placeholders, if you will. Okay, so we're gonna go to everything. We're gonna sort alphabetically. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna go to stall. Okay, it's the stone arch. There we go. Stall. So I can make two more of these, and then if I have three, if I get three more pieces of wood, I can make another one. All right, keep crafting. All right. Oh, my pockets are too full, huh? I wasn't even paying attention to that. What am I holding? Right, some bugs and some fruit. Let me sell some stuff, and I'll be on my way. Bugs and fruit. So glad Nook's Cranny will pay for these. I mean, the fruit makes a little more sense, and bugs can make sense to specific collectors, but me just walking in saying, here's a butterfly and some pears, and they'll take them? I mean, that's freaking great. All right, here we go. So that, 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 that. And I, and I guess this one wee clump on the two extra tree branches. Okay, there we go. Nice. Thank you. Very good. All set. And then I got Nook Miles for selling fruit. So I will claim those in a second. Okay. Here we go. Nook Miles. Great. Thank you. Saving up all these Nook Miles for when they will hopefully be helpful in the future. And then customize items. I might customize the stalls today, but for now they're just placeholders. And since I can't craft anymore this, or I mean I can now that I, now that I have inventory, but before I craft more, let me bonk these with a stone axe and get a few extra pieces of regular wood so I can craft an additional stall while I'm at it. So here we go. Watch out, Bertha. Don't want to hurt you, Bertha. Okay, I think I need regular wood, right? And I keep getting everything but regular wood. All right, let me try the coconut tree. Nope, all soft wood. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep looking. Gonna keep looking. Okay, hey, there's another shell here, finally. Take that, thank you. All right, let me try bonking these trees and hoping for the best. Oh, there we go, that one had a piece of regular wood. Okay, and then, hey, I got Nook Miles for chopping wood. And hey, here's that DIY recipe I left here earlier. So I'll take that too. Okay, let me claim the Nook Miles for chop, for bonking the trees and getting the wood. So that much is good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, and now I need, oh, redeem Nook Miles? I mean, I might do that later. We'll see. This is, okay, one of each type of wood because apparently you can get that from one singular tree. Okay, got soft wood and regular wood. Great. Let's sit up here and bonk a few more trees, and then I'll be good. Okay? Alright. Now, I, already, I shook them earlier, so I don't think they're gonna have any more wasp nests in them, but if they do, I'm ready for a fight. Okay, regular wood, regular wood, and soft wood. Okay, then I'll only be, I should have enough regular wood. So let me just hit this tree a couple more times. Oh, no. Alright, fine. One more tree for good luck. Very good. Alright, so how many pieces of regular wood do I have now? Because maybe if I'm just one off again. I'm at 28. I guess I can get to 30. It takes 12 for each batch. So I would need to get to 36 to get to the, to the next multiple. So alright, I guess while I'm at it, I'll bonk all the trees. Need more regular wood. Please. Regular wood. Please. Okay, hang on, there's a piece there. Okay, so that's one. Need seven more pieces of regular wood. Okay, hitting on up here. All right, seven more pieces. Here we go. Get that, get that regular stone axe out. And there's two. Okay. All right. And I'll use the soft wood and the hard wood one day, or maybe I'll just sell it. I don't know. Just been kind of hanging on to it for now. There's three. And the regular wood is just not spawning that often, huh? Oh, good. Okay, ready for that rematch? Oh no, because they got me from the side! Uh, Alright. Alright. Uh, my streak has ended. Well, I'm taking this. I'm not bonking that tree anymore. I'm, I'm done with that tree. I'm moving on to the next tree. Here we go. Okay. 
No regular wood in that one. Come on, man. Come on, I just need regular wood. Why is it not spawning as much? Okay. Is that just a thing that regular wood does not spawn as much? I don't know. There you go, I got that. Or maybe I'm just making that up. Uh, er, there we go! I guess I was making that up because now we got plenty of pieces of regular wood. So how many more do I need? Three? Because that puts me at 30. And f Oh, I need one more. One more. Perfect. That, that, yeah, that's, that's perfect! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then is this a beetle right here? Because I guess I can catch it real quickly. Fine. I didn't need it anyway. That's true. I actually didn't. I actually don't need it. It would have, would have just taken up an extra space in my inventory. Okay. Well, in any case, I'm gonna head back down here with my swollen eyeball because all I was trying to do was get one or two extra pieces of wood, and I tried to take the next necessary precautions, but I got stung by a freaking wasp anyway. But I'm gonna go ahead, make a few extra stalls for spacing purposes, and then we'll be good. All right. So let's craft. Alright, so, nice, I can make three more of those. Not gonna customize them just yet, I just wanna get the spacing done first. So keep crafting. Alright, so there's two. Okay. And then one more. Okay. So there we go, there we go, there we go. So that is all set. Very good. And now... Go over here. Okay. So, I guess this is the part where I actually continue my construction. And I start putting down even more gray tiles. So, there we go. Aquanet base. Now that the house is gone, I can texture, or properly texture these areas. Okay. Alright. Alright. And then let me do this next column. And then they'll... I'll put the last of the rope fencing here in due time. Just want to get the textures down first before I have to move everything again. So we're going. I'm texturing just for the last 10 minutes or so of the video. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Cool. Alright. Nice. And then I can't get that little space, right? Okay, and then I can't get this space to the right, so instead, I'll just have to work my way back up. Here we go. Very good. Awesome stuff. Making my way up to here. And I'm liking how my island's coming along. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay. And then maybe I'll go back through at, once I'm done texturing this island and I'm looking for something else I can do, maybe I'll go back through and add a few more streams and water pads through my island because that's how it kind of started. I was like, I want my island to based on this, be based on this water level from a Bomberman game. And then I made a bunch of like mini streams and then I just kind of got rid of all of them because I wasn't digging it. But now, now that I have this huge lake, I might go back through and make a few extra water streams. Uh oh, is it time for me to move the cotton candy machine? Yeah, it is. All right, thanks, Cotton Candy Machine. Machine, and I see that balloon in the back. Let me fix. Let me finish up texturing this column, and then I'll go and pop that balloon. Yes, I will. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go. Cause I probably can't pop it over there anyway. It would just fall in the water. So, going back up through here, and then this rock is in the way. I will destroy that rock a different day when I eat another piece of fruit, gain super strength, and have the ability to smash that rock open with a shovel. Basically, I'll do that tomorrow. Okay. So that balloon is going to come over here. Yeah, and then when this is all textured and I put the stalls in, I will put the bridge down. And then that'll probably be the end of the video. So let me get my slingshot ready. Alright, slingshot. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. It's like, no way I lost track of it already. Alright, let me let me back up a little bit then. So it's still back there. That pesky old balloon. That big old blue balloon. I will get it. Alright, it's over my dining area now. I think so. It's not just barely above it, right? Like it's it's right here. 
Perfect. <gasps> no, not perfect. No. Frick, man. All right, whatever. It looked like it landed on land for a second, but I guess it hit the rope fence and then it got away. Ugh. All right, whatever. The next stall. Just got to get back to work and ignore that. Okay, the next stall. Push this back. And then we're going to pull... Oh, no. Okay. Put that slingshot away. Okay. So we want there to be an open space there for people to be able to kind of like fit through here and go along. Select their DIY recipes. In fact, maybe this whole space could just be run by two different DIY stalls. Yeah, I can texture that with DIY again. And then this whole backspace. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that idea. Okay, so hang on. Just let me drop that item. Let me take this stall and let me customize it with the DIY recipe again. Okay? This is my designated DIY area. So, customize something. And then we want to customize a stall with the custom design of a DIY stand. And then what color did I have on it? No, no, no. I had... I need to go back and check the color. I don't remember. Was it, I, think it was, I think it was black, right? Gray. Add gray on it. Okay, then we'll do gray again. So here we go. So sorry, let me try that again. So customize something. Stall. Okay, so we want gray again. Custom design. DIY stand with the gray. Okay. Yes, I am okay with this design. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. All right, let's go set this back down. Okay, so set this here. Great. Now let me make sure there's just enough of a distance between the first stall and the second one. All right, so here we go. So there, there. So if someone can fit in between there. There, there. And then, like, one more. There you go. Okay. That ought to do it. Yeah! And then another stall goes here. Which one, what type of stall this will be, that's to be determined. The next stall goes here. Okay, push that back. And then the next stall would go here. Okay. Which means if I'm going to build a bridge here, I might need to extend this over one space by one. I mean, okay, that's fine right there. So let me, let me better understand how I want this to look. Okay, I mean, like I can't do anything. Oh, I can. Oh, sort of. Okay, so let me double check with this. Hmm. Hang on. Hang on. I didn't, I didn't want to get rid of this. I need to get rid of the middle space first. Okay. Here we go. Cool. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Nice. Nice. So that should be wide enough for a bridge. I just need to make sure that the height is correct. So hold that. Get over here, or I need to make sure that the width is correct too. So you, you were to walk along here, and then I want to put the bridge, like, right here. Can I do that? Okay. Let me imagine it. Because this should be perfect otherwise. Yeah, and it is. Okay, great. Get that bridge going. Cool. So, in a couple of days, I will try to pay that off and we'll be good. Now, as for this, this, I guess, needs to start curving around because I don't want people to just jump across here. I want them to use the bridge and remain safe. So, start cur curling all this around. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. Cool. Cool. Alright. 
Very good. Hooray! That looked kind of weird, huh? I guess I'll put that back. Alright, so the bridge comes over here, and then I guess... It's time to chop down these trees, too! Oh, no! No, I'll do that tomorrow. And then I'll make the break, don't make the brick path connect over here tomorrow. You can enjoy it for now, Bertha. Alright, let's get back to the other side. Do a little more texture work, and then we'll call it a day. Hmm, although this rock being in the way does kind of slow down my texture work for the day, right? I guess I only have like another minute or two to do textures, so... Let me get this little bottom chunk, and then we'll be good. Okay, aqua at base. Let me, let me go horizontally a little bit. Okay. And then I can't do much beyond that. And then Lloyd, you'll move when this bridge is paid off and I will patch that spot underneath you. <laughs> okay. And then here we go. Here we go. Very good. Very good. Alright, and then we'll get this real quickly. And then that might just have to be it. Okay. Well, hey! Progress is being made to my island. In fact, no, this isn't it. Let's customize one more of these, huh? Let me look up... Err... Yeah, let, let me... No, I'm not gonna look up another pattern today. That'll be for a different day. Let me just put up whatever patterns I do have on here. Get the Nook Miles for customizing another object. And then I'll be done. So let's customize something. Customize this stall. And then what are my options? So, what other patterns do I have? Yeah, look at all these fun patterns I have unlocked or downloaded or something. I guess unlocked. Yeah. Cool. Ooh, this, this, this could be like a nice clothing one. I'm digging that. Hmm. Yeah, I've got, I've got a bunch of fun stuff here. These, are these chickens? Are these chickens? Okay, apples. An apple stand? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. Okay, so that's customized and ready to go. I'll set that back and then I need to put the cotton candy machine back down now, now that I realize it. So, apple stand. Place item. Apples. Cotton candy stand. Where did that go? Cotton candy stall. There we go. Perfect. It's perfect. And then, actually, I guess what I should do. So this should be a regular, this should be another stall that I'll get another custom design for. And then the cotton candy machine will go right beside it. And it'll be part of this stall. So perfect. So boom. That goes there. And then can I fit another stall right here? Because I, I will. I will do it. Hey, I just want to push it. There we go, nice! And I'll, I'll have to move stuff around again when I texture it all, but yeah, this is all coming together. The other one might have to be popcorn or something. Yeah, I have, I, I, you know what, let me do that, let me do that real quickly. I have a popcorn machine in my house. I need to drop off an item or two anyway, and then I'll withdraw that popcorn machine. And popcorn will go on the other side. Okay, alright, give me just a minute, guys. Give me just a minute. We're going one or two minutes overboard, but it's going to be worth it. It's all coming together, and I love it so much. Okay. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, we're heading in here. Very good. Okay. So. Let me... Put this in storage. And then I can sell anything else extra tomorrow. I need to get the popcorn machine. So sort alphabetical. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Okay. I thought I had. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Popcorn machine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. So I'll set this back over by that other stall. And then we'll be all set. Okay. Woo! It's fun to see my island come together. That's the joy of this game, right? That's the whole point of Animal Crossing, is to see whatever you envision finally come together. Because I am really appreciating that. Alright, yeah, the popcorn. 
that goes here. And I'll get custom textures and whatnot for these. But yeah, cotton candy and popcorn as you make your way further closer to the food. And as a marketing standpoint, generally speaking, you want to you want to keep food close enough to somebody who's entering the facility, but far away enough so that they pass by a bunch of other stuff too and are prompted to maybe buy something. That's why milk is usually kept in the back of grocery stores, so you're more compelled to buy other things because you walk past so many products on your way to buy the milk that you're like, oh, you know, maybe I'll get some cereal with it too. Maybe I'll buy a couple of snacks and then you walk out with like 10 plus things. Same type of strategy here. You walk in, you're like, oh, I just want to go and try the food. And then maybe you pass by a Nintendo Switch and you're like, yeah, yeah, I will take the Nintendo Switch actually. And I will take a couple of DIY recipes and I will take some apples. It'll be great. All right, folks, for now, that wraps up this video of Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to sell my turnips, get enough bells, pay off this bridge, make the rest of my island look awesome. I hope to do it all. But for now, bye bye humans! Whoosh! Hey, thank you for watching my video all the way to the end. If you want to show your support, one of the best things you can do is leave a comment down below. So if you have anything nice you want to say about the video, or if you have any questions, I'll try to respond to whatever I can at my earliest convenience. Either way, your support means a lot and I really appreciate it. I hope to see you all in the future. Bye-bye!